that? Didn't expect it. We were told you'd help with the bot testing, too. But before we get to that, let's see how she's doing. Hmm. Pretty as a picture. Got nothing bad to say. These bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. Autonomous delivery bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. Thing I didn't have to do. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for fuel testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. <clears throat> These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone. From folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one too. Head for the private room. Go on.
what the fuck is going on right now? Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Higgs made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And atop of that, he got his hands on an old-school nuke that I ended up carrying riding to Middle Knot City. You tell me that... Yeah. <clears throat> it was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the city. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. Pizza thing first.
Hey, Sam, those new sites you brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. <laughs> Higgs set fragile up. He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot he sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down. I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. 
There's a significant impact on Karelian levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the chiral network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... Express ID verified. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. actually managed to get the goods out of there? That takes balls. Well now, it's more than I asked for. Not bad. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if Fragile hadn't fucked us over. Bridges, too. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking lutely sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. 
You do right by me. I'll do right by you. Good work. New order of it. Sam. Order assigned. ID. Fragile Express ID verified. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Express? No. You're a Bridges Porter, aren't you? I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? Oh my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. Oh. Wow. This poor thing has seen better days. But to get it back at all is a blessing. You found it in the ruins, right? Yeah, no wonder it's so scratched up. I'm grateful. I really am. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. She manipulated you, young blood. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. Only I 
couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past, unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if we want, just say you'll take me. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. There is a handgun configured to fire hermetic rounds, bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage to any BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body, or any bags on hand, to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. Oh it goes without gosh. saying that Are any falls serious? or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. All of this shit. So proceed with caution. Get now Are you more than ever. Serious? How? How? Bro, I'm gonna be shocked on how I can do this. Probably shouldn't have got all those DT guns. It's gonna weigh me down. I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break.
Will that work? Fuck all that shit. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. That there is a handgun configured to fire hermetic rounds. Bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage to any BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body, or any bags on hand, to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. Oh it goes without gosh. saying that any falls serious? or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. All of this shit. So proceed with caution. Get her. Now Are you more than ever. Serious? How? How? Bro, I'm gonna be shocked on how I can do this. Probably shouldn't have got all those DT guns. It's gonna weigh me down. I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. Are you hurt? Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were.
I kept it close. Always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on. Like forgetting you. Well, now I can both move on. Together, you and me. If you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They don't pedal junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece. We don't need. <laughs> The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I do. Yes. <laughs> One other thing. What? Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. May I never forget you. Thank you. Never seen an NPC do that. That's crazy. Sam, that whole region is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. Why not just get them on the network, let them print what they need? Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Food, medicine, organic compounds, that blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs, None of that can be sent by the network, only the old-fashioned way. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. By the way, 
Sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty-handed, right? Waste a trip, I say. Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order on your back. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Check the terminal for details. Heads up, Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy time fall in the area. It appears to be some kind of storm, but nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. Doesn't seem to have done any real damage yet, but would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? You can use those little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Living only, though. They won't do you any good against VTs. Condition critical. Please replace immediately. It's 
Impressive work. I'll notify HQ and try to expedite evaluations. Hey, just got the evaluation results from the people at the Distro Center for those prototypes you dropped off? Looks like both caught their eye. The motor, for one, was impressive. They really couldn't believe it was made from scrap. It can be fitted to a modified truck and be ready to go in no time. They contracted the junk dealer straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can be fabricated. They had good things to say about the pouch, too. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Sam, don't know if you're aware, but you can customize your pack in your private room. Why not give it a try? should suffice. Glad to see everything's in good working order. Another of our new EX grenades, the number one. So named because it contains a vaporized extract formulated from your urine. Compared to our first iteration, this EX grenade contains a higher concentration of your fluids, which should make it more effective against BTs. Whenever you avail yourself of your private room's facilities, we will collect the results and produce additional units for your use. So you needn't worry about uh, running out. <laughs> <laughs> 